Hi, future Wildcat. Congratulations on being admitted to ACU. We're thrilled to walk you through the process of becoming a Wildcat. In this video, we hope to help you with understanding the cost of ACU and how to put together financial documents that accurately reflect your ability to pay for your education. Let's review the cost estimate for international students. On the screen, you can see the estimated costs for one academic year at ACU. It's broken down into tuition and fees, housing and food, and insurance and books. Students will need this level of financial support each academic year. You might be wondering what costs are not included in this basic estimate. There will be costs such as air flights, winter and summer break housing and food, personal expenses like shampoo and clothing, and emergency funds for things such as the $100 deductible for medical and prescription costs. Also keep in mind that tuition and other costs rise each year, so be sure you and your parents prepare for this. As an admitted student, you've been offered the President's International Scholarship. At the link on screen, you can find other department and program-specific scholarships you may be eligible to apply for. It is recommended that you look for outside scholarships and loans if needed. After scholarships are awarded, most international students will still be financially responsible to pay approximately $35,000 US dollars per year for their education at ACU. We encourage you to begin planning now for your four-year educational journey. Be sure you and your parents or sponsors gather your resources into savings accounts, checking accounts, and loans. Let's go over the steps to apply for the F1 student immigration document, the I-20. First, you'll need to collect your bank letters and bank statements to provide evidence of your educational funding. At least one year's worth of funding must be sitting in an account for at least three recent months. And in addition, there needs to be evidence that future years of funding will also be available to you. Next, you will need to complete the student financial agreement, affirming your ability to cover your educational expenses for the four years of your degree, and list your parent or sponsor's contact information. Then your parent or sponsor should complete their financial agreement and upload the bank letter and bank statements. Once your financial documents have been approved, you'll receive your I-20 and you can start the visa application process. Here are a few helpful tips for your I-20 and visa process. Ensure that your financial documents show an amount equal to or greater than the estimate we covered earlier. Scan your documents carefully so they are upright and legible and include all the required elements. The submission of fraudulent documents will disqualify you from receiving an I-20. Apply as early as possible, since visa interview wait times can be lengthy. Students interested in coming for a fall term should submit all financial documents by the end of May. Students coming for a spring term should submit documents by the end of September for best results. Let's go over the steps to obtaining your visa. First, you'll use your SEVIS number on your I-20 to pay the I-901 SEVIS fee at fmjfee.com. Next, you'll complete the forms for the U.S. Department of State and schedule your visa interview. If time is short, you may need to request an expedited interview date through the U.S. Consulate or Embassy nearest you. Preparing for your visa interview is very important. The consular official may ask detailed questions about your plan to pay for college and your career plans outside the U.S. after graduation. The interviews are usually only two to three minutes long, so brief and concise answers are best. We have more detailed information plus helpful tips available on our visa interview webpage. We're here to help, so please let us know if you have any questions. For your convenience, we've linked all the helpful websites in the description box below. We look forward to seeing you on ACU's campus as a student soon. Go Wildcats! Wildcats.